guys, so I finally got my tree up. Yeah, uh, we're like already halfway through December, but finally got there because we got new carpet. Um, so that's the reason why we hadn't got it earlier. So I finally feel like we're a bit more Christmassy in this household. And speaking of Christmas, uh, Emily Norris, the lovely vlogger Emily Norris, she did a Christmas tag video last week and invited other people to do it as well. And I do love a good tag video, so I thought, why not? Why not join in? So by the way, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. If I sound a bit meh and nasally, it's just because of that reason. I think everyone seems to be ill or having colds and coughs and things at the moment. So if you are also feeling a bit rubbish and have a cold or a cough, I feel your pain and sending you lots of sort of lem sip or whatever through the camera. Right, I'm gonna shut up and stop blabbering now. So the first question was, what is your favorite Christmas film? Oh, I love films at Christmas. It's like, you all you do is watch, literally on ITV2, it's just constant films on at Christmas time. But my favorite one has to be The Snowman. I think it's just such a classic and it's a lovely family film and actually if you watched my video about my Christmas Eve box you will see that I actually bought the girls the book of the snowman to read to them on Christmas Eve. Okay so question two, have I ever had a white Christmas? Well I'm originally from Belfast so it gets quite cold there and yes when I was younger we had a white Christmas or a few white Christmases and then also when I moved to Kent I think it was 2010 I there was a white Christmas and it was really like a proper really heavy snow it was gorgeous although our heat stopped working that day on Christmas Day so it wasn't we were literally huddled around heaters of all days for the, the heating to stop working but yeah I've had a white Christmas and I love white Christmases but it doesn't look like we're gonna have one this year where do I usually spend the holidays well I normally spend the Christmas holidays with my family at home so depending on where that home was you know whenever it was in Northern Ireland it was there now I spend it with my family here in Kent this year actually we're going out for Christmas Day we're going out to the Hilton for Christmas dinner it's the first time we've done that but it's just as our sort of extended family is growing so we're all sort of going to, out together and I'm really really looking forward to it What's my favourite Christmas song? Well, I think a lot of people love the song um, and I'm also one of them and it's Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You and every time I hear it, it just reminds me of Christmas and I love it and I dance around the house to it and have it and repeat. <laughs> yeah, so that's definitely my fave. Do I open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes, we have a bit of a tradition in this family of giving pyjamas every New, Year New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. Um, Andrew and I have done that since we met. So yeah, we'll be continuing that on this year and then we'll also be giving the girls a proper Christmas Eve box this year which has a few more bits in it. And yeah, you can see that video. It's the last one I've done. So if you wanna check that out, you can uh, yeah watch that and that shows you what else I've put in their Christmas Eve box. Also while I'm blabbering and chatting away, um, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And also there's a little bell now that you can ring which notifies you <coughs> Sorry if I've made another video. So if you press that as well, just to make things doubly difficult, so subscribe and press the bell. But yeah, if you could do that, that'd be brilliant. Right, back to the Christmas tag. Can I name all of Santa's reindeers? Um, no. I, uh, I know Rudolph and Blitzen and Dasher and is it Dancer? and um, now I'm stumped. So I don't know, what are the rest of them? Please tell me, because I'm not sure. I should probably learn this with having two children. So yeah, I will, I will look that up on Google. So what holiday traditions am I looking forward to the most? Well, I guess just generally being with my family and eating a good roast dinner or a turkey dinner. I love a turkey dinner. I love roast potatoes. I'm looking forward to tucking into that. And of course, giving the presents to the girls and them coming downstairs and getting their stockings and their gifts from Santa. Is my Christmas tree real or fake? Well, it's behind me and it's real. Last year we had a fake one because we had literally just moved into this house about a week before Christmas, so we didn't have time to get a real one. But this year we got a real one and we actually got it for free because we won it in a raffle. I was at a, a charity event and there was a raffle and I won a Christmas tree, so that was really handy. So yeah, that's it behind us. What is your all time favorite holiday food sweet treat? Well, apart from obviously turkey dinner, you know, which I just love and I could eat like 
loads of it. I eat so much food, by the way. A sweet treat, though, every year since I was young, I can't even remember how long, my dad has always bought me a box of After Eights on Christmas Day. So yeah, I love After Eights uh, and it's like a tradition thing. So on Christmas Day, always have some After Eights and that's my fave sweet treat. Be honest, do I like receiving gifts or giving gifts? Genuinely, I absolutely love giving gifts. Of course, it's nice to get a few wee bits, but I think once you have kids, you just really don't care about yourself. I'm way more excited about giving gifts to people and I really try and put a lot of thought into Christmas gifts. I spend a lot of time thinking about what people would like. I also like to get more than one present, so I'll get like a big present and then have lots of little things as well. So I always love buying loads and I think I actually enjoy that part of Christmas more than anything is actually buying things for people, especially obviously for the girls, and um, buying things that they love and then seeing their wee faces light up on Christmas morning. What's the best Christmas present I've ever received? Well, I got engaged on Christmas day, so it would be, if you can see it, very bright there, but it's my ring. And uh, Andrew had it specially made, and I'll try and take it off so you can see it. It's um, sort of a, what's called a marquee cut diamond, and as you can see, the arms of the ring go either side, so I've had to have my wedding ring made to fit round it. But yeah, I literally loved it because it was just, he did it, I hadn't expected him to propose. It was in my sister's house because we were there for Christmas. All my family was there. So I literally proposed and then we went in and I was like, I'm engaged to all my family. So that was really nice. And yeah, I love the ring and the fact that he'd got it specially made to a design that I loved. Um, yeah, really meant a lot. So yeah, that was definitely the best Christmas present. What would be my dream place to visit over the Christmas season? I guess actually somewhere like Disneyland might be quite fun, but to be honest, I just love being at home. I think just being with your family and waking up at home is really nice. Although I think next year we might be going to France because my husband's parents have a house in France. So we may be going there and that'll be lovely. And then we're maybe gonna spend New Year's like in the Alps and go skiing and things. I've never been skiing before except on a dry slope. So that would be a really good experience. Am I a pro present wrapper or a bit of an amateur? Um, I'm definitely a really bad present wrapper. I don't know why, I'm just not very skilled at anything. I'm one of these people that's rubbish at like temp and bowling, any kind of sport, anything. I just am not very skilled. And that also includes wrapping. <laughs> and, uh, I try and do it properly, but it just always ends up looking really rubbish. So um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good at wrapping presents. So I apologize to anyone who gets a present from me and it looks awful. My most memorable holiday moment. Obviously getting engaged was a pretty, pretty good one. And actually this year I loved, Sophia took part in her first nativity and she wasn't expected to. And in the middle of the, it was at the Salvation Army in Maidstone and the church leader asked Sophia to carry the star. This was in the middle of the service. And Sophia's normally very shy, so I wasn't sure if she would do it, but she did. And she walked right up into the stage and she sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star literally at the top of her lungs. And oh, it was just amazing. And I, I think it's a little moment I'll never forget. And because it was so unexpected, I hadn't expected her to get up and take part. I think it made it even more special. What made me realize the truth about Santa? Uh, any kids watching this? There is no truth about Santa apart from that he's fab and he's great. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Santa coming this Christmas Eve. And yeah, if they're now out of the room or not listening, uh, I remember finding a bike in my parents' wardrobe and then I cried. At first I was like, oh look, I know it's not real. And then I cried my eyes out because the realization that it actually wasn't and I felt really guilty because my parents looked very upset that I'd found the presents. And finally, what makes the holidays special for me? I think I've pretty much covered it when I've said it's really all about spending time with your family and also about children and seeing them get so excited on Christmas day and getting some presents and just spending time, just relaxing, not worrying about work or stressing and just enjoying, you know, cuddles, lots of lovely food, lots of laughs, playing games and yeah, spending time with, with family. That's, that's the best thing about Christmas. So that's my Christmas tag. I'd love it if you wanted to do one too. I will put the questions below. So yeah, if you want to, 
let me know, I'll leave a wee message and let me know if you've done it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all about your Christmases and I hope if you do have a lovely Christmas, I will be doing more videos before Christmas, but if you don't watch any more of them, um, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and yeah, I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.